This is a simulation of just-in-time, just-in-sequence assembly process, manufacturing process. You can see the simulation now will begin to show up. Uh, you can see those red dots going all over from one place to the other, so the simulation has begun. The orders come in from here. You can see 45, 47, 50, 52, etc. Those orders coming in, right? And they get processed, and that blue line is the information flow. And this information comes to these three activities, pick plastic, pick electrics, pick components, and they pick up the parts from the parts inventory according to the type, uh, according to the spreadsheet that uh, I have shown here, and the table. Uh, there are three types of plastic, two types of electric, and three two types of components, and based on the product type, uh, those pick activities will pick up the right sort of parts. Now, the moment the parts are picked up, so there is a dip in the level of the parts inventory, which sends a signal to the just-in-time, just-in-sequence signal box, and that triggers an order, and the parts come in according to the sequence and according to the type of the par part that is ordered, and they arrive and are unloaded and moved, right? And once they're moved, they come into the parts inventory and then the picking activities uh, kick in. They pick up the parts and move the rel uh, these parts to the relevant places in the assembly process. You can see the assembly process first assembles the plastic, then the electrics and the components from the top down. You can see those black arrows show the material flow while the blue arrows show the information flow. And after the assembly, the final products are then moved and loaded into the trucks, which then go to the final destination. You can see on the bottom left corner, the histogram for the lead time. And this lead time is the duration between the order coming in and the final delivery. We can actually determine on a live basis like this, uh, the delivery times, lead times, throughput, what is the throughput, what is the um, work in progress, uh, and uh, we can put in the financial numbers to calculate the revenue, the cost, the inventory, and in fact, we can even calculate the return on the invested capital. Pretty much, I mean, utilizations of, of resources, of human resources, of machines. We can uh, actually model very complicated information flow scenarios. Uh, if you'd want anything like this for your operations, if you want to model the as-is operations to establish the current level of performance, or if you want to, uh, you know, the test various improvement initiatives you may have, whether or not they will make any difference to your operations, please do contact the email provided here. Thank you.